everybody we are back once again and we are now on ascent with the concordia versus marion game and in that last round we saw the last round on bind we saw concordia make a pretty what looked like an unforced error but i i now have the insider information after i went over to the other room and talked with the team the voice line for Bomb Has Been Planted by Viper was said at the last, last minute millisecond of the bomb being planted. And so, thinking that the bomb was planted, Skelly immediately went into post-plant phase, rotating uh, through teleport to put down... Uh, some different uh, util. And so that is exactly what happened there. Uh, it was unfortunate that the the line came through. And... The line came through and was uh, what they thought was needed to, to finish it. And unfortunately, that means that uh, Concordia loses that round. But bind is over and we are now on ascent and we'll see if it is a different story for now tywood a little low on health as he kind of took some initial turns there and he's gonna maybe get one here nope not able to find anything ulan does find tywood spike has been planted and we'll see what concordia can do for a post plant scenario here Lots of low members, and that's the bug taking out a couple. And the advance is thick. Can they get it? They clean up all but one so far. Skelly finds Bunny Sniper in the defuse coming through four reactions. Means that Concordia will win the first round here. Very well done there by Concordia. A lot of low members because uh, Tywood was able to, or low members on the MU side, Tywood was able to get a lot of damage off before he inevitably, inevitably went down, uh, kind of trapped back in that corner. So he was able to get some damage down, hold MU to try and uh, figure out what they were going to do at the last second there. Now, MU is holding very far back in their spawn, nearly. And they're just going to go for a little bit of a delay here, see if they can catch Concordia trying to peek a corner, see if they catch Concordia being aggressive or not. Concordia doing a good job staying patient. 
not making any unforced errors here to get started. Moving around now, Concordia. So just sort of hanging out. Going through mid is Ren. Going to check out what is going on mid is Reactions. See if he catches Ren out here. Ren, I think, saw the shoulder. Nope, didn't see the shoulder quite yet. Nice catch there. Reactions able to find the first pick. 30 seconds left as MU has yet to make a move onto a site. They are going to rotate very quickly over to B, and B is held down by St. Germain at the moment. They're going to know that, the rotate, that uh, this is coming through, so Concordia is going to be rotating across. And a double kill for St. Germain in the Valley of Death is going to mean defenders win. We call it the Valley of Death because he puts down at least two traps. Two of his spawn grenade, uh, swamp grenades down in that little, air, that little alleyway there behind that building. And it is most, I mean, it's pretty uh, standard play for... KJ's and um, he's gonna probably set up the exact same thing again. He'll just everything set up here. We'll get seen here. And they'll be hearing that B is probably the play. That's going to be St. Germain getting one. Ulan does find Tywood as Reactions is now stuck behind this door. And oh man, Ulan spraying through the door finds Reactions. And a nice shot there. Spike is planted. Bug and Skelly are both here together. We gotta try and find something as the bomb is ticking. And spraying through everything was Ulan. Skelly able to get that kill and Ren then finds Skelly at the very end. So Concordia will lose round three as we go on to round four. So we'll hop back into this and see what Concordio can do. They'll have a pretty good buy as far as some rifles across the board. Marshall, of course, in the hands of reactions this time around. MU right now is setting up for the take here onto B. There, once again, we're going to be taking this nice and slow as they do not. Have everything initially going through. We're going to be kind of forcing out some util from the Concordia side. Maybe they'll hear this rotation. That's a lot of them. Claw finds St. Germain. That means that A is wide open. If they're able to rotate through mid, they will be... Pushing through on the rotation. Tywood staying here back at the B site. Reactions is taken out. Tywood does find one on the backside for his trouble. The bug is going to be suppressed here. And, oh man, the bug is getting kind of chipped out a little bit there. Trying to spray through that is... reactions but this is or, uh, Tywood it's gonna be Skelly getting caught out here on the bottom side and all Tywood can do is try to move through but 
Yulon does take him out there at the end. And Ultimate's up right now for St. Germain, Ulan, Diet Coke, and Ren. So might be a pretty big push round coming through here soon from MU. St. Germain setting up on A. I almost feel as if it is going to be a ult out of Ulan to get things started. That will render a lot of the utility from St. Germain useless. And there it is. Kind of saw that one coming initially and damage coming through. Ulan able to find that kill. are going to force things through. Man, Ulan able to find reactions there as he's trying to look through. They do find the bug's head. And flashing himself, the bug able to narrowly escape that. I don't no, yeah, I guess he is going to be able to get completely away. Nobody was up heaven. Or Claws is up heaven, but didn't get it totally found. And, oh, man, Claws saw the gun and flicks immediately over to that and is able to survive just out of range. So, Concordia, another one lost there. They lose three in a row. And are going to try and get back into this reactions is going for the op this time. We'll see if that pays off for him as he's going to set up kind of high ground here on B. Well, once again, I mean, we just got to see. It's going to be an interesting situation here as both he and... St. Germain are going to be on this. You should run. It will reveal one, not the other. And Oh, man, that was a very interesting situation there. As it's going to be Tywood moving up, he uses his ultimate to try and get something down. And, man, a lucky headshot through by the bug will find one. St. Germain able to find two on the backside. And the rotation has to come, but there is no spike on those two. So, right now they have to back off. And honestly, I think they're really just going to be trying to group up somewhere and look for picks. Well, I might say group up, but they're actually kind of splitting right now. You know, just like a little bit, nothing too major. Finds a kill there. Mid is Tywood. Gonna flash out and try to find more. Back in Cubby is exactly where he's hiding, but they kind of think he's up mid. Could be dangerous here for Tywood if they don't think about it. He does see the gun just in time. Flawless. A nice victory there. And Cordia bringing it back 3-3. Three to three. I don't know. It's not supposed to be. So we're back. <laughs> Round seven. Concordia was able to snag one back. And a nice spray is going to mean that Tywood finds one, but then one in return. It's what they're going to get. I mean, it's just kind of how this plays out sometimes. And that is going to be actually a very defensive... KJ ultimate, or uh, yeah, KJ ultimate coming through here. I'm trying to fire some ults. Will be uh, Bunny Sniper. But he doesn't get anything with that. We have St. Germain up here top. Reactions also up top. 
Ren is holding on something here, and Concordia now is going to be in some trouble, if, unless they can get some kills here. Reactions does find one up top. And Skelly and the Bug are actually going to clean up on the backside. Reactions finding Diet Coke. And taking a sip as he takes him out. Very well done there. And a timeout will come through for MU. As a very nice defense put up by Concordia. Made, you know, I think they only lost one. And they had both Reactions and Skelly still up in the previous round. Very well done there. Concordia able to go 4-3 to three right now. Staying one step ahead and securing the lead now for themselves in this round. MU is honestly doing their darndest. They're, they're playing a very um, slow attack. Uh, and, and it, you know, obviously it, it worked a couple times here. Um, they couldn't rush on to B before, um, mostly because of St. Germain um, and all his util that he is able to put down in that area. And so rushing B or rushing either of the sites is not ideal. They sort of want to feel out where St. Germain is on that KJ and then force... Um, either to the other side or try and force him to use his util, which is rather difficult um, based on the fact that he's not really going to, you know, throw it out or, or you use it until uh, he kind of has a really good idea of where his enemy is. So right now they're going to know that scan going down B, but it's not really a big deal. Up here is Tywood. Throwing down a lot more util. Diet Coke does find the bug as our first pick. And on the backside, though, we do have Tywood finding one. Ren, though, with the kill coming back in Concordia's direction. And, oh, man, Ren able to get St. Germain on that. And, ah, oh, Diet Coke finds Skelly and Ren getting a 3k with the final shot onto Reactions. And we will be all locked up again. Four and four. Op in the hands of Claws and Reactions. And I don't know if we have to talk to Reactions about the fact that he's bottom fragging and taking the op or uh, what. You know, he's got to maybe earn a little bit more respect with that op. And they haven't really been uh, checking anything mid here. This might be the first opportunity to see some pretty interesting op on op action and reactions does click the left mouse button faster finds a nice kill for himself ren does find tywood here it was tywood's ultimate coming through hot hands coming through to try to get some damage down and he doesn't have his gun out once again trying to use util but that's a double kill for ren that means the A site is kind of cracking a little bit here. There's going to be a lot of action here to get things started right here around the corner. Bunny Sniper finds St. Germain. And oh man, Bunny Sniper. They're going to have a really good pinch onto Reactions here. Reactions has got Skelly on his flank. She's not going to see this in time. And Reactions won't be able to kill Bunny Sniper in time. And that is going to give over... Well, unless they don't pick it up, which I don't think they're going to. It does not give over the Operator. They're not going to go for that this time, as it uh, didn't work out great for him previously either. So... Once again, we'll... See what will happen this time as B has kind of been the main point of attack. Well, I guess they, they've spread it out. They've spread it out fairly evenly between B and A, honestly, here on attack. Uh, Mid-pressure has not been the one. It's typically one on ascent you get to see a little bit of 
you know, they'll move through mid, maybe try and find whoever's lurking there. Um, sometimes just a little bit of pressure because you can kind of get into tree that direction, but really they've been taking either A main or B main. This is the first time we've seen somebody here. Bunny Sniper is the, the first time we've seen somebody lurking mid. Throwing a couple shots through. So Tywood is going to try and get away as quickly as he can. He does hop away, which is good for him. But unfortunately, that means that MU right now is a little bit lost for where the next direction is going to be. Tywood finds two, though, mid with a 3k. Claws will finally find him back. And the rotation coming through now. They're going to try and find anything they can onto B. They're trying to move through. There's only two of them, so they have to get through, but they won't be able to with the Swamp Grenades down. MU Allen does get through, but that's the spike getting shot down behind Claws. Goes down and Reactions finds Ulan, and that is going to be... Defenders winning 5-5 now as both teams struggling to find... Anything more than a two-round lead, I believe. Yeah, I, I think it's been... MU had a... Well, no. I think uh, neither team has had anything more than a two-round lead. Right, yeah. MU had it 3-2. to two, Then Concordia brought it back 3-3. Three, three, then 4-3. Four, three, then 4-4. Four, four, then 5-4. Five, four, now 5-5 five, five again. So nobody has had any lead greater than one. Except for their very first two rounds on defense, which we'll just sort of ignore for now. So, both teams are looking for an opportunity here. Concordia showing nothing, A. Like, nothing at all. They are trying to be as quiet as possible on this site. They do show a little bit of Viper. Snakebite here to start. And a couple more things one way from reactions is going to be kind of a big deal holds off a little longer the bug though does get hit by diet coke who had a really good attack there on that back side down in hell is tywood reactions goes down the attacker killjoy though Finding one, two, and that's actually the bomb or the spike that goes down on that so they won't get the plant off immediately and nicely done. Skelly able to find one that brings it to two to two. Spike is down, and if Skelly heard that, she'll know somebody is hell. And man, St. Germain actually finds Ren. Should know the last one's hell. Should know that. Skelly, please tell me you said something about that. And there we go. St. Germain does find him. They, they, I think they were guessing pretty hard about that. And that is going to be a nice defuse there by Concordia. As they will trade two rounds for two rounds, which was traded from two rounds, which was traded from three rounds from the initial two. If that's not confusing, there's the scoreboard for you. That's just sort of tell you kind of everything you need to know. Six to five. Concordia taking the lead again. So we have had the most closely contested match here in the previous match. It was kind of one team would run away on defense, or both teams had a really good time on defense. And we kind of run away with it in that. It looks like Skelly's getting ready to ult here onto A. And hold that down. She will do so. So there's going to be a really nice hold onto A. Reactions could have had an opportunity there to find something maybe. Looks like a mid push is going to be the answer from MU. It's going to be a late peak. But nobody's watching it, and Reactions gets a clean first kill here. How nobody was watching that angle on the initial peak, I won't know. And that's Bunny Sniper that's going to find one. Reactions does get back further. Tywood in trouble. Gets his ult taken out. He should hear that reload. I can hear that reload. He 
He does get a nice kill there. He knows that Bunny Sniper is right there in the corner. Concordia right now looking pretty good in this. He does get healed up from that. Man, they are throwing everything they can to try and detect him. And that's a nice shot. Reactions has a 3k. Reactions with a 4k. Throwing down the spray. Well done there. Tywood, unfortunately, does go down in that. But we will switch sides with Concordia up. 7-5, to five, the first. Uh, we could argue about the first two rounds being Concordia up 2-0. But the first time now that a team has pulled ahead by two, point, uh, two rounds in a long while. They'll do so by winning the last three in reactions. Please stop jumping like that. You are going to make me nauseous. And I am... This is just going to be interesting. So both teams on attack and defense, just, they had their opportunities, and they both were taking them back and forth. So now here's the thing. Concordia can try and take advantage of the two-score lead and really push this lead best they can. And on the other side, MU is looking for a solid defense. And an opportunity to take it back. So both teams have a KJ. Which just means that attacking B is going to be a rather interesting feat. We'll have to see what happens here. As Concordia is rotating around to B side. But I don't know about this. As the KJ over there is set up, it's a pistol round. So there's not really a lot of options as far as things to go. Trying to get over, and they don't get over the Swamp Grenades. It's going to be Claws finding reactions. And a lot of fighting going through here. Concordia does have Tywood now on the point. Unfortunately, they have taken so much damage. Claws does find the bug with a nice shot there. St. Germain is on a very thick flank. Finds one. Will he be able to find more? Rotation now coming through to A with 17 seconds remaining. I'm not sure they'll be able to do it. Nope, not with 10 seconds. I think it takes 5 seconds to plant. Wow. Concordia gets the plant down. And there we go. St. Germain does find one. Skelly is hiding back here in the corner. Doing everything she can to try and hold this off. Diet Coke is going to defuse. And oh, she can't find the shots onto him. He was just slightly to the left. And unfortunate for Skelly. If she had gotten that, that would have been impressive. Blindly through. She just needed to maybe switch up and, and, and not shoot straight on Spike. They don't really always... They don't defuse straight on Spike. So maybe spraying slightly left, then right, then on. Would have had it. It was the lowest health member. He wasn't... Uh, he wasn't going to take more than one shot to take out. He just was right where he needed to be. And Skelly could not find the shots... So, Concordia now going to have to try and do this. They are up one round still, but it's going to be kind of hard as they won't have the advantage. There's going to be full shields and specters on the other side. So, it's going to be a difficult round to take if they are able to. Scouting out what's going on mid here and I'm gonna see what's going on. Sunny Sniper will know at least where Tywood is now. Also probably knew or knows where the bug is also. It's gonna be retreating back to a little bit of safety. And over here, St. Germain I'm gonna start trying to pick off a little bit of damage.
on to some members. We do have Tywood moving up slowly, and Concordia is trying to kind of just take some ground. A little bit here, a little bit there. Does get a nice blind. But we'll have to see. Tywood and Bunny Sniper trade there in the mid. Over on the side, Diet Coke finds Skelly. German, or, uh, Ren finding reactions, and Claw finds St. Germain. The bug also going down to Ren on the A site. So, a nice try by Concordia, trying to stall it out. They knew they didn't have the firepower um, in that round that they needed to go up against them at a longer range. So, they kind of tried to split things up, put a little pressure on B, which meant that they could kind of sneak in through mid a little bit after pushing them out mid. Kept Skelly on A because the plan the whole time was to try and go A. And then A was wide open. If they had just hit maybe a couple pistol shots in that, a headshot or two would have turned the tide of that round. But we will head in. We'll head into this with them all moving forward through tree. A spray comes through. Ren does find Tywood. Reactions finds one here, but a nice two kills, and St. Germain finds one there as well. A is wide open. It's going to be two versus four now. Concordia opportunity, if they can do it. Spike is being planted as we speak. St. Germain will move around the back side here. Concordia now has the objective. Now they're just waiting. Nice headshot there. Claws does get reactions on the kill back. But the bug does find Claws. Concordia will be able to maintain or re reassert the lead at 8-7. And they will win their first attacking round, which is a very positive thing for them right now because... Kind of struggled on the previous map on attack. They they lost so many in a row on bind, even after building themselves a really nice lead. And they were able to clutch it back there, you know, towards the end. And honestly, it would have been overtime had the audio cue not misfired on the spike plant. Presence detected here as St. Germain is going to try and peek this corner. Both of them are going to spray through just a little bit. Hiding on the back side is St. Germain. Nice shots through the smoke, getting a beautiful hit. Headshot onto Ren. Concordia as a whole is rotating off of A and towards B. This is going to be kind of a Bit of a risky play. They will be heard now. No longer detected here as they will try this. St. Germain, or Reactions, does get taken out on the back side. And man, Claws able to detect. They detected Tywood and they were able to move in. A is wide open, by the way. Has been for a little bit. And the bug does try to get that clean shot through for rotation. So, rotations now coming through. And they are going to try and keep all of MU on the back side here. And that means, unfortunately, that Ulan was able to get that shot. Skelly is running like wild right now to get over here. Man, another last minute plant, or last millisecond plant, honestly. Concordia able to put the spike down. Suppressed for the moment. 
And once again, they're going to go for the defuse. And, oh, man, Bunny Sniper does find the bug. And the defuse does come through. Skelly unable to get off any sort of a defense there. She was trying, I think, to find Snake Bite up over the top onto the plant site, but just wasn't able to do so. And then wasn't able to position correctly on that either. So, 8-8, eight to eight, we find ourselves, once again, tied up here. And it is just going to continue to be a long night for everybody in this situation. Concordia now with a couple options as far as what they want to do. St. Germain is going to come out with the Marshall here. Pretty good weapon, and if Concordia can control mid, I think they stand a little bit better of a chance. I think if they hadn't rotated that and instead sort of took more of an, a, 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 just a chase into A, would have been a better scenario for him. St. Germain is going to be watching this like a hawk. Ready with the marshal, as always. St. Germain, ready to go. And man, snaking through was Diet Coke, but he's taken out now by Tywood. The bug is here. Should hear this. And doesn't get the shots on. And on the other side, Ren is able to clean house. And unfortunate here as... Tywood does find Ren. Tywood able to start getting the plant down even. And now in a very hairy situation, Tywood is here. They both drop down onto him. Defuse coming through. And it will probably finish even. And it did finish. Oh, man. He found the headshots that he needed to. And then if he had just gotten around the corner a half second sooner, he might have found the shot he needed to onto Ulan to finish that off. But with that, MU gets two rounds in a row, takes back the lead with one round, 9-8. to eight. Concordia's going to have to get, of course, two rounds to bring it back. And I think they're having really good opportunities. They just are either getting a little too aggressive at the last second and losing like they did kind of on the A site where they got a little aggressive. Meaning that there was going to be a really good attack there. Attacker KJ is going to get the nice move there, but Claws does kill her. And reactions gets up and over, so that means they get onto site. Trying to get past the util. Bug finds Bunny Sniper on the back side. A lot of spraying through these walls. Concordia gets the spike planted. Reactions finds Diet Coke. There's a Defender K uh, Killjoy ultimate coming through. It's not going to find anybody. It does detain one. It's just going to detain Reactions. There is a nice attacker's win. Concordia wins, even with one detained. I believe he actually let himself get detained to try and uh, see if anybody would go a little aggressive into his allies. And it worked out fairly well. Concordia now has brought it 9-9. Nine to nine. We are in the 19th round of this bad boy, and I... I Man, I would feel like overtime is something that is going to happen, but you never know. Somebody could get ahead by two rounds at the very end and try to pull out the match point, you know, 12-11, and get that 13-11 win. Cordy once again pushing mid as MU is allowing a lot of mid presence out of him. This is a save round for MU, in fact is kind of a big deal.
Concordia needs to win this round. If Concordia wins this round, they're going to have a very good time with this. The bug does find Diet Coke. I think Jermaine is going to be deafened here for a little bit. And a nice kill there. Ty Wood finding one. They have to try to do something here. And a nice kill's coming through. Bunny Sniper does find St. Germain, but only after he finds a kill on that side. So now, Bunny Sniper is trying to move through Tree, and Concordia doesn't really know where he is. They knew he was mid. They'll now have a little bit better idea. And there we go. Tywood able to get Bunny Sniper on that backside. Which means Concordia. Once again, taking the lead back. And a timeout. For MU. So the timeout here from MU is just kind of going to be a regrouping. You know, they only, they're only they only behind by one round. Right now, they have been doing well, but I think Concordia has been finding some interesting holes in the defense, you know, kind of a situation. I, I think that mid-pressure is one of the weaknesses that MU has, at least here on this map. Just from their positioning... And uh, Concordia hasn't really been taking advantage of it um, nearly enough. And I think they have here in the last two rounds kind of done some nice pushes um, in the mid direction. And it, it's paid off. You know, they've been able to find some picks, get some interesting rotations down. And using that pressure that they have mid, force MU to kind of commit to where they're going to defend or reveal a little bit of where they're going to defend. And here we go. MU is, and, and like I said, MU is wanting to know where Concordia is. And right now, and there we go. Ults coming through. MU, Diet Coke is taken out by Tywood. Or sorry, Diet Coke takes out Tywood, but it was Tywood's ultimate going to get trapped up in tree here a little bit. Claw finds one. Reactions will find Claw in return. The rotation for Concordia is going to be back towards B. Now that they kind of know that some of the util there on the side of MU was on A. They're going to rotate onto B. Nobody's here for MU. MU having to sort of hold off. Diet Coke is right there and Reactions will need to be looking in the right spot for this. Gonna go ahead and go back, which is a pretty smart play. Gonna hear him going around. Finds one there. Diet Coke, who was the lowest member? Feels like it should be. Reactions finds a 3k. He finds Yulan as well. Ren is trying to come back through, and Reactions is just feeling this in his gut, and he doesn't get the kill. Gets a lot of damage down. No kill, though. And, ah, oh, nicely done. The bug able to get a beautiful shot right through that corner onto Ren. Concordia is up 11-9. They need one more for match point. And MU knows it. MU took that tactical timeout to try and talk about the fact that Concordia was pushing mid really well I'm, I'm i'm guessing they are because you know they sent the drone they they really tried to look mid a little bit more than what they had before they are going to be sending claw back to b duty to try to hold it down droning out mid once again this time concordia is going to just only show one person in that area Tywood is going to be detected here. 
Reactions does find Bunny Sniper, which is actually a big pick mid. Leaving MU blind in that area. They know one's heaven. Be that disorient coming through. Concordia, though, starting to move forward here. Ultimate coming out of Yulan, which is big. Ren is now located also on the side of MU. Concordia is going to send two people here to deal with him. Tywood is down, hiding underneath here. Which is kind of a big deal. And nice pick there. Tywood finds one in the back. Concordia now trying to rotate around. They aren't able to get Claw. Diet Coke taken out, but Claw finds Skelly, which means he also finds the spike. Ren able to get the kill there on the back side, and Reactions finds that. He's going to get the spike down as quickly as possible. Does get it down. The only one there is Ren. That is St. Germain taking him out with uh, the turret, I guess. Gee, many Christmas. Came around the corner there just too soon. And Concordia now has the opportunity to win Ascent and take us to a third map. Here we are now with this opportunity. Once again, Concordia taking mid-pressure, and, and Ascent is a pretty good map for this. Reactions on the op back up there in second frag, so maybe he gets an opportunity to redeem himself here. I don't really know what else to say in this scenario right now, except for the fact that they're just waiting out a little bit of util here. And I think they've weighed out a couple of good items of util, too, from MU. Over on the side there, Reactions is going to try and scout out mid. Once again, every time they have sent something mid to sort of scout it, Concordia has shown nothing in return. Tywood is here. He is really watching this corner best he can. And he's going to get surprised. From behind there, Tywood taken out by Bunny Sniper. As all of MU moves over to A, but they give up this really critical mid-pressure here. And they can't get through. Diet Coke does take out the bug. And a nice shot there. And, oh, man, St. Germain doesn't see from behind that the shots are coming from behind. Spike is planted, and that is a really nice ultimate coming through. Defender Killjoy, or K, uh, kill, ugh, Defender Killjoy ultimate coming through. St. Germain has his. Oh my gosh, could this be a 5k? It is not! Bunny Sniper able to stop St. Germain from getting the ace. Big, big, fat, sad there. As he just about had the full ace, which would have been amazing in a match point scenario. Unfortunately there, it is taken away. Bunny Sniper hitting him up with that. And we now go to match point yet again. Round 23. Concordia will have two more shots at round at match point before we go to overtime. So Concordia put themselves in a pretty good spot, winning th four rounds in a row first off to get to this point. And now Concordia sort of moving around, trying to find... The hole in the defense, as they have done so many different times before. 
They do have KJ ultimate. They have Ty Woods ultimate as well for a really good entry. No ults on the side of MU. This is actually kind of a great opportunity for Concordia. Angel Man needs to not die to something here mid as they are waiting for him to come around to the B side so that he can ult. I also didn't realize that the bug had his ultimate as well. So Concordia is now rotating back to A. This is stunning. Nobody on A. All of them have rotated to mid or B, and this is Concordia moving straight on to A. No freaking problem. That is a nice pick from Ty. He's able to get one, and that's critical. Oh my gosh. They'll take him out there, but that's his ultimate, so he just comes back. No problem. Concordia with the KJ ult now, holding off the entire MU team. Nice kill there from Tywood. Ren will trade it back, but once again, they're still down. The bug finds one on the backside as well. And Concordia just has to hold this. This is absolutely amazing. Concordia right now holding best they can. They find one. They're going to find the last one. Diet Coke will get slammed down. And that means 13 to 10. Concordia takes a cent. And we go to map three in this series absolutely incredible last play there the rotation from concordia was freaking clean and i cannot emphasize that enough the ultimate out of the bug forced the entire mu team to rotate and you could see exactly when they hit the midpoint of the map right when they got here this last round here, they realized that Concordia was rotating through mid and getting onto the site. Absolutely incredible. Uh, we will be back with map three of this series and see if Concordia can pull the reverse sweep here. We'll be back in just a bit.
love is due. 